Hello there! It's been a while since I last updated the channel, sorry for that. But I came back with lots of cool stuff to show you and now we have a real life case study. My first released game, Moon Teaser. And in this video we will understand how I implemented a steering mechanic called Star Mouse. We already saw how basic steering works. If you didn't watch the video, I will link it in the card and at the description of this video. Check it out! But the steering as it is will keep applying the forces, creating a very strange behavior where the object doesn't stop moving, even when we reach the target. To solve that, some smart guys implemented a very simple solution. The object will move towards the target, but will slow down its speed until it reaches simultaneously the target and therefore the speed zero. To do that, we can simply set a threshold radius around the target which will be used as a factor for the division of the speed. So, if the current distance of the steering object from the target position is greater than the radius, it will be always at a radio of 1 to 1, but this will decrease as it gets closer and closer to the target after entering the arriving radius. So, instead of just taking the desired velocity of the steering and returning it with the steering force applied as a new velocity, we will first check for the distance from the desired arriving radio and, if it is inside the distance, we will start to slowing it down by dividing it by the current distance to the target. And to get that, just normalize the difference of the two positions, the target and the object. So, we will get the correct direction towards it. Then multiply it by the maximum speed you would like your object to move. After that, multiply it by the current ratio of the distance and the radius. From now on, everything is just the same as the steering. Apply the steering force, then create the steering velocity and return it as the new movement velocity for the object. If everything goes well, that's what you get. Currently, my target is set to be the last location of a mouse click. So, if the mouse left click it, it will call the string function, passing a new target position. And if you hold the left button, it will continue passing new updated targets. And if the mouse isn't clicking, it will take the current position as the target. And that's it. That's all for now guys, if you want to check the full code, I'll put a link to the open repository of the game in the description. Feel free to tweak it, fork it, copy it, reproduce it, distribute it, and so on. That's it, keep developing and until the next time.